we take another method for solving the uh, finding the second solution and that's this one here is by using formula by use the formula for finding solution this is my differential equation homogeneous for this um, homogeneous differential equation and y1 is a given solution <coughs> we have the formula y2 of x is equal to y1 of x e to point integral minus px dx y1 square x dx we have in the value of y1 or y1 is equal to x this value is y1 then we have the value we need the value of p of x or p of x is equal to minus 1 upon x we substitute there we get x integral e to power minus minus 1 upon x dx x square minus is cancelled minus to get d upon x upon x integral of this one is lin of x and then lin of x we can say lin and e and cancel we get here x so x is cancelled with x square we get here dx upon x and we have the integral of uh, uh, dx upon x is lin of x so this is my y2 i got here my y2 of x my y2 of x is equal to x lin of x so you can see how simple it it is to find the value of the second solution by using the formula so i give you some more examples where i will use the formula to get the second solution so we having example four we're given the solution y1 of x is sine x upon root of x that satisfies the differential equation it satisfies the differential equation means it's the solution so of the differential equation 4x square y double dash 4x y dash plus 4x square minus 1 y equal to 0 and the, uh, and the interval 0 to pi now we want to find the second solution we want to find y2 by using the formula my what's my y2 of x is y1 of x e to power minus px dx y1 x square into <coughs> dx now we need to find y1 of x and p to p of x y1 of x is given to us y1 of x is equal to given to me is sine x over root of x what's p of x my p of x is a2 of x is 4x a1 of x over a2 of x is 4x square and we solve it we get here 1 upon x now we substitute here my y2 of x is equal to y1 of x y1 of x is sin x over root of x and then integral e to power minus integral p of x where's my p of x is 1 upon x into dx over y1 x whole square we get here sin square x over x because we are taking square of this one i get sine square x or root of x become x now we integrate this one this is lin of x upon x and minus is here so we can write this equal to sin x over root of x and i can get here this equal to e to power lin of x to power minus 1 over we get here sin square x over x e and lin are cancelled and we'll get here the result as sin x over root of x into integral 1 upon x over sine square x over x into dx so this 1 upon x 1 upon x is cancelled and we'll get here this equal to sine of x over root of x into integral what we'll get what's left is 1 over sine square x into dx we rewrite this one we get here sin x over root of x this one is integral cosecant square x dx and the integral of cosecant square x is minus cotangent x so get minus sin x over root of x into cotangent x i have taken already this uh, minus outside what's my cotangent x is cosine upon sine so get minus sin x over x root into cosine x over sin x so sin x is cancelled with sin x and we can have here the I just take a space from here and we can rewrite our solution we are having the value for this one sin x is cancelled sin x and I will write here my y2 of x is equal to minus cosine x over root of x so my second solution is I can just drop my sine of minus because when we write the zenith solution I write here already the constant it will take there here I see my y2 of x is equal to cosine x over root of x so this is my this is second solution so I have dropped here minus sine I told you why I take as a note then I want to try the general solution so my general solution will be note if I want to try general solution I have here my general solution 
it will be y equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 that's my general solution i have the value of y1 and y2 i substitute the value of y1 and y2 i can write my general solution so here i can write my y is equal to c1 sin x over root of x this is my y1 and for y2 as i told you i drop this minus because here become minus c2 or we change c2 to c3 so minus sign doesn't make any difference so we are having here plus c2 cosine of x over root of x so as i mentioned there are many examples of this type about seven eight examples with different uh, difficulties are given in the notes you can just uh, can approach my notes by taking going to the description and we have the google uh, link for the google drive just uh, click it you will get the notes copy it save it with you the soft copy of that one and then you can just as i do do the practice and practice may practice make the perfect so this was the idea that we how we can find the solution of the second order differential equation when one solution is given so that's by reduction of order i give you the example for directly solving it and second one i give you the method for solving by using formula derivation of formula i told you that can you can just get it from my notes or from any differential equation book again i would like to say it if you want to learn mathematics you need the practice you solve many problems that makes you perfect and the, here you get the difficulties in the very beginning i told you that we need uh, your the technique of integrations a, a lot your yeah, formulas a lot and every uh, every solution or anywhere we always coming across that we have to apply the formula for integration or technique of integration again i will advise you if you're not done do it this will help you a lot so inshallah we'll continue next time with the more methods for solving the higher order differential equations